Errors in your Excel spreadsheets can be quite frustrating, quite confusing, quite annoying. And uh, I'm going to show you how to handle uh, some of them. Let's see, I have a spreadsheet here that I wanted to show you. And uh, all of these cells have the same formula. Basically, all it does is calculating the average of the numbers above it. But one of them is giving an error, division by zero. And uh, this kind of error does not mean that the formula is incorrect, it is a correct formula, it's just there's nothing to average. And you know what, you, uh, what we mean by average, it's statistical mean when you add up numbers and then divide them by the number of them. So we don't have any numbers and uh, to divide by zero, we have zero numbers, is illegal. That's why we get this error. So when you have a situation like that, it is really easy to uh, handle it using the if error function. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, take this formula right here, and I'm going to wrap the function if error around it. If error, like so. And uh, the if error function requires two arguments. One argument is the calculation that you have. And the second argument is what kind of result you, do you would like to see if you get uh, an error as a result of the calculation. And it looks like this. So I can actually type whatever I want. I can type uh, nothing to average like this. And that will be the end of the function. Before I close it, I want to uh, show you the parts of it quickly. So here we basically are wrapping uh, the if error function around our calculation. So this is my calculation, calculating the average. And uh, if error looks at this calculation, and if there's an error, then it is returning this result rather than an error. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to accept the change and now copy it like so. And notice, whenever it was supposed to be an error, what I see is nothing to average. Of course, I could have done something like if it's an error, uh, show zero. So for example, I can type zero. So it just doesn't give you an error, but it just shows you the no result, basically, zero result. So the if error function is uh, a really cool way to catch the errors in your spreadsheet and make it less confusing, less annoying, and less frustrating. So, if you like it, like it. If you love it, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.